A warm greeting, today is Friday, September 22, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I'm going to talk about Invest 90, which has a high probability of becoming Tropical Storm Philippe over the next few days as it generally moves westward for at least the next 3 to 4 days. Before discussing the forecast for Invest 90, I wanted to mention that Tropical Storm Ophelia has been forming south of North Carolina. At this moment, it is very close to the coast, and it is projected to enter the state of North Carolina in the early hours of Saturday, bringing strong winds, heavy rain, and flooding along the coast due to storm surge. If you want to know more about this forecast, I invite you to watch a video I recorded earlier today. We will also briefly talk about the next tropical wave that is emerging from Africa and may also have development potential next week. Let's now focus on the tropical Atlantic region. Here, we can see Invest 90, which continues to show signs of organization. Although we saw a decrease in rain and thunderstorm activity today due to some Saharan dust interfering with the circulation of this tropical wave, recent infrared satellite images show that it has started to generate strong thunderstorms near the center of circulation again. This disturbance will likely become a tropical depression over the weekend. Models project that it will strengthen into tropical storm Philippe, and then, between Tuesday and Wednesday, take a turn to the northwest north and possibly strengthen into Hurricane Philippe. We have good news for the Caribbean region because there is a strong consensus among all global models that the future cyclone will maintain a path far away from the Caribbean region. In fact, there are currently no expected indirect effects. At 8 p.m., the National Hurricane Center maintains a 70% probability of tropical depression development over the next two days and a 90% probability of development over the next seven days. You can see that the potential development area for this tropical depression is already moving away from the Caribbean region. Fortunately, there is no need to worry about this future cyclone in the Caribbean. To give you an idea of the confidence in this forecasted path, note that all the trajectory specialized models indicate that this future cyclone will turn northwest north and remain quite distant from the Lesser Antilles. This includes models that strengthen the disturbance quickly into a hurricane, as well as others that keep it very weak. Regardless of how much it strengthens, it is almost guaranteed to take that drastic turn northward over the next few days. There is really no reason to be concerned in the Caribbean although we are always vigilant about these disturbances. In terms of intensity, it is forecasted to become a hurricane between Sunday and Monday, with the possibility of further strengthening to a Category 3 as it moves over open waters of the Atlantic. Let's briefly look at the forecast from the best global models. Here, in the GFS model, we see a hurricane moving northward on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, remaining hundreds of miles northeast of the Caribbean. Additionally, you can see the next tropical wave that the GFS model suggests may become a tropical depression by mid-next week. The European model maintains a consistent northwest and then north trajectory for the middle and end of next week. Our two best models agree on this path, which gives us a lot of confidence that it won't approach the Caribbean region. Here, we also have a low pressure area associated with that next tropical wave that will be emerging from Africa. Another one of the best global models, the UCMIT, also agrees with the northwest-north trajectory. It's worth mentioning that the UCMIT usually has the westernmost trajectories, so it's good news to see it also aligning with the other models and staying away from the Caribbean. The Canadian model also has a very similar trajectory, as does the ICON model. These two models show the development of a low-pressure system associated with that next tropical wave. Fortunately, it seems that this new tropical wave will also move towards open waters of the Atlantic, so there is no reason to be concerned about these future tropical cyclones in the Caribbean region. Take a look at the different scenarios shown by the ensemble members of the GFS model. You can see that all of them maintain a trajectory far from the Caribbean, even those that keep the disturbance very weak also turn northward, passing far from the Lesser Antilles. Here, you can also see the forecast for the next tropical wave, maintaining a northwest trajectory. This will keep it distant from the Caribbean in the long term. The ensemble members of the European model consistently maintain that initial westward trajectory, and by Monday or Tuesday, it takes a northwest turn, potentially strengthening into a hurricane. Also, note that none of the members bring these two cyclones to the Caribbean region. Here, we have the next tropical wave also following the path that the future hurricane Philippe will take over open waters of the Atlantic. These are definitely good news because during this season, we've seen tropical cyclones tend to gain latitude fairly quickly before reaching the Caribbean. This aligns with what we had discussed in the forecasts before the start of this season where El Niño phenomena typically lead to cyclone development in this area. As we wrap up September, the risk decreases rapidly for the eastern Caribbean region. However, we will start paying close attention to the western part of the Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico, 
where historically we have seen the formation of some quite powerful cyclones. Even though we have the El Niño phenomenon, and it's expected to make cyclone development in El Niño years challenging in this area, long-term models show that conditions could be unusually favorable for cyclone development in this area in October. The important thing is that, except for tropical storm Ophelia, the rest of the Atlantic can be relatively calm as there are no imminent threats or foreseeable ones in the medium term. Well, with this, I bid farewell. I hope everyone has an excellent weekend. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the red button below the video that says subscribe. Then, click the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload new videos. Well then, I bid you farewell until the next video.